By the way, by the way, uh, on Sunday, the men of the Odua People's Congress uh, captured the invisible Isikulu Wakili, the elusive armed Fulani bandit, known to be terrorizing the people of Ibadan and its environment. Oh, yes. Here, here is the video of the man uh, that uh, all the Nigerian military and police security people could not find. Watch. Is it right? Eh? Well, Lord Jordan, you baba, should that come out, come and new alara. Oh, you want doing? Well, let's do this. Baraba. Oh, don't make it. Baraba. Introducing Dr. Jackie Damages. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that our high-flying, women-loving governor is suddenly finished. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Forget it. I mean, he is completely finished. No, 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 no. What am I saying? He is finished completely. <laughs> I'm doing what I said I would do. And when you are doing that and you've been true to yourself and you're true to the relationships around you, you have no regrets. Yes, that was before the dam busted. <laughs> Governor Andrew Cuomo, a U.S. president in waiting, is now going to wait for a very long time before he smells the gates of the White House. <laughs> yep, the governor who is a government-approved mobster of New York, is going down. No, no, no. A similar thing is happening to Amadou Bello Bola Tinubu of Nigeria, the former governor of Lagos State. Oh, yes. All that Shango and all the gods of Tinubu's home state of Oshun wanted him to do to get into Asurok was to keep quiet. Keep your mouth pimp. And he was doing just that. And then, Nigeria's Attorney General, Abubakar Malami, played a fast one on Tinubu, a kind of family issue, you know? Malami got this young man called Abdul Rashid Bawa to be the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and everything changed. Oh, yes. This is how Achebe, Chinua Achebe, described the move in Things All Apart. <laughs> Achebe wrote, you can visit Ogugu Shrine and worship Ogugu to perfection, only for the god at Udo Shrine to kill him. <laughs> but Latinibu did all that they wanted him to do. He sat down at his own house and crushed his testicles. He took it like a man just to get to where he wanted to get to, Azorok. And still, and still, and still. Look at the headline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says, he says, he says, EFCC deepens Tinubu probe, demands an asset declaration form from Code of Conduct Bureau. Wow. Wow. So, so, so when you see Abdul Rashid Bawa starts to flex his muscles with Bala Tinubu, you will know that the young man is serious about clearing the path to Nigeria's greatness. What I mean it, what I mean it, that is not what it's supposed to be. Sasha, who, who wrote this crap? Eh? <laughs> I didn't take Bawa's uh, moves, anything seriously, you know? I didn't take him seriously. I thought it was just uh, the usual um, initial gara gara, you know what I mean? Until last week, when Amadou Bello, Bolatinubu's assistant, told the newspapers, that um, they have no information of the move to investigate Bola Tinubu's assets declaration. That was all that you needed to hear to know that they are truly after the president in waiting. Oh, yes. Now, there are so many people who could be after our president in waiting. It could be the other contenders, you know, like Governor Kaede Fayemi, who is considered a less threatening candidate to the caliphate. Or, or the other, um, the other one locked up in purgatory. 
what is his name again? What is his name? Um, oh, yes, <laughs> Vice President of Shiva Joe. It could be him. Maybe, maybe the key has been found. You know, they threw the key away when they locked him. <laughs> In pocket, they threw it away. Maybe they found the key, you know? <laughs> yep. Look at that. How Presidency Cabal caged Oshibajo to the Fowler through EFCC probes. Plans to bury Tinubu's 2023 ambition. <laughs> oh, forget it. I thought, I thought they canceled the 2023 elections. Eh? No? They are still going ahead with the elections? Despite the bandits, the fires, and the cows at war? No? Well, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, according to sources, within the sources, it all started to go down when the EFCC arrested Tunde Fowler, oh, the former director of the Federal Internal Revenue Services, FIRS. The man is wonderful. He was one of the wonder boys of Lagos that Bola Tinubu sent to Abuja to represent him in Buhari's government. <laughs> Buhari sacked him, <laughs> the one-time wonder boy of Lagos, organized crime family, and arrested him for hundreds of billions of naira in fraud at the Federal Internal Revenue Services, where he was the Agadi top. <laughs> Tinubu was like, ah, you broke my heart, <laughs> you broke my heart. You broke my heart, Jelly. You broke my heart. <laughs> but that was not the only thing uh, Tunde Fowler broke. Tunde Fowler's interrogation yielded a truckload of incriminating information on Tinubu, Tinubu's cash uh, cow, uh, Alpha Beta, and the activities of other Tinubu's boys in Buhari's government. Here is a Hollywood reenactment of the scene from <laughs> Tunde Fowler's interrogation. It's wonderful. Watch. I am intimately involved in all aspects of the VD family business and I am prepared to speak for Mr. VD on all matters. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. <laughs> he went down the drain from there. From there. Psh. Which thing are you talking about? The first thing or the second thing? What second thing? I only know one thing. Hey, how can we bring up the first thing if we're not going to talk about the second thing? Did you talk to the guy? What guy? The guy with the thing. <laughs> see, 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 the way our source put it is that Tunde Fowler sang like a Nigerian idol that he was. Take a listen. Who <laughs> time? Yes! What about rain? <laughs> what about sun? What about the alphabet where we outdid ourselves? <laughs> yeah, 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 the man, the man is good. I bet let the man finish up. Did you rain down the dundies? All the children from the wall. Did you rain down the dundies? This crying out till we've been sold. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Now, now, Tunde sang so well that the Malami family was so impressed and they showed it. Take a look. You're good, Doc. You're good. Oh, you're good. Tunde, you are good. You are very good. You are very good, Tunde. You're very good. <laughs> now, the, the Malami family had enough damaging information to contain the Bolatinibu's family. So, if you watched this show last week, you will understand what I mean when I talk about families. Yes, in fact, in fact, sources say that the Lagos organized crime family may not survive the impending onslaught. I cannot wait. <laughs> when mobsters fight and godfathers come after each other, the city is cleansed. Sasha! <laughs> Tweet that out. So, COVID-19 vaccine landed in Nigeria last week. Ooh, we got it. And quickly, President Muhammad Buhari and his vice president, Shibajo, came out and got the vaccine. Yes, take a look. Oh, they took it publicly. Now, now, if it is to make um, their access declaration forms public, they won't, but vaccine, yeah, yes. For a moment, <laughs> the news leaked that the federal government budgeted 10.8 billion naira 
for transportation of COVID-19 vaccines across Nigeria. Look at the headline. <laughs> that was soon denied as preposterous. <laughs> My sense is that it was because they were caught. You know what I mean? They were caught. We have seen more outrageous acts of corruption in that country than this. In fact, in fact, when the vaccine landed, they had a poster welcoming the vaccine to Nigeria. Can you imagine that? In fact, I'm thinking, what will they do when Jesus will come? If they have a poster to welcome vaccine, boxes of vaccine to Nigeria, what would they, they would, what recapit would they throw out for Jesus? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who did this to us? Eh? Who did this to us? <laughs> this is a seminar that we called Preventative Medicine. Yeah, it's brought to you by Open Society Initiative for West Africa, Osiwa. Now, we have been looking at how different communities in Nigeria have been thriving with COVID-19. Our crack reporters, we finally found them, went to a church in Ibado to find out how it has been uh, for them, the impact of this uh, COVID in their, in their business. No, sorry, their ministry. In their ministry. Take a look. Um, I, I learned a lot of things. It was not, it's not really something that, that was a bad um not really affects me um, in, in any bad way nothing really we are only you know sometimes because of the the intensity the 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 problem that it brought so it made us to be very very you know alert and vigilant it's very terrible we shall we came to a time that we did not even host the service service is no more going on during that COVID-19, a lot happened, but we thank God we survive it and we stay alive. People are no more, some people are still at home and no more coming to the church as usual. Even the weekly activities, they prefer to stay at home and they watch the online. Yeah, we also asked if they will take the vaccine when they get the opportunity to do so. Watch. Yes, I will even encourage my my members to be to allow themselves to be vaccinated. Mm, let me say yes, but they have to start with the high high people because we have to know whether the COVID nineteen vaccine is working or not. Yes. Why? In order to prevent it, I don't want to experience it. Yes. Now, how do I tell you this? Former Vice President Abuba Katiku has taken the vaccine in Dubai, even before Buhari. The wife of Anambra State Governor, yeah, took it in America and she showed us the video. All those who have been enjoying the wealth of Nigeria have all been taking the vaccine because they do not want to die and leave all those their, their wealth for, for others. One moment of being of God could ruin your remaining days. I mean, years, I mean, centuries. Wash your hands, wear a mask, observe self-distance. Always remember, it is those who are alive that will get the chance to tell the stories. Thank you. Great news. Cobble Hills apartments are nine months away from being completed. How would you like to spend the next Christmas in your own apartment in the best part of Lake Lagos? Very close to all the important landmarks. Now is the time to act. Contact Cobble Hills Luxury Apartments and secure your own before it is too late. There is a great payment plan waiting for you. Come on, go to this website. By the way, by the way, uh, on Sunday, the men of the Odua People's Congress uh, captured the invisible Isikulu Wakili, the elusive armed Fulani bandit, known to be terrorizing the people of Ibada and its environment. Oh yes, here, here is the video of the man uh, that uh, all the Nigerian military and police security people could not find. Watch. Is it okay? eh? 
pelu ojo rin yi baba so da ke ma ke ma ni wa lara oju wa ndun yi ngba o le ti dere si barapa o to ni me je di de barapa now wakili is alleged to be the mastermind of several killings and abductions afeni fere commended the opc for doing a great job that the nigerian police could not do all the security people we have they couldn't do it opc did it with just we just all they used was just uh, um, tortoise the the head of tortoise on their on their vest and everything <laughs> anyway they did it the important thing is that they got the man <laughs> that's what afeni ferry said we were not shocked that but for the intervention of the leadership in Oyo state that the police would have gone after the opc boys instead of taking the criminal from them and doing the needful, uh, Afeni Ferret said. Nigeria is going nowhere with a security network that shuns federalism. Hey, who you go? Now, just, just when you think that there is hope, you know, I'm interpreting what they said. You read that OPC members who arrested uh, Wakili were detained by the police. Look at the headline. Yeah, meanwhile, Wakili was taken to a hospital where he's cooling off. And very soon, if we don't pay attention, nothing again will be heard about him. You know, and the crimes he committed, everything, gone. Africa, who did this to us? Who did this to us? It was apostolic week last week, and Pope Francis took an Ali Talia, a commercial airline, to visit Iraq. Yeah, yeah, Italian airline. Italian, Italian airline. Yeah, the commercial one. Look, look at the Pope, the leader of over one billion Catholics. Is it one billion that they are? I don't know. There are many everywhere. Carrying his own bag. Are you, are you saying, <laughs> are you seeing what I'm saying? Are you saying that there is no rich Catholic out there in the world who can buy a private jet for the Pope or carry his bag? I doubt it. Remember there was someone who gave the Pope an expensive car. Look at the picture. What did the Pope do? The Pope turned around and gave it to charity. This Pope said, you know, does he know what goes on in Africa? <laughs> but, but not our African pastors. No way. They are more important than the Pope. That's why they, they, that's why they have three private jets. Suleiman has responded to those who criticize him for owning three private jets. Listen to him. You don't commend me. You can't condemn me. The people I will listen to are those who commended my good works. When they now correct me, say, man of God, don't say this next time. I will listen to them. Yes. You cannot condemn me if you cannot commend me. Hey! Sasha, tweet that out. <laughs> who, told, who, who told him that? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. It is in Matthew 7, verse 7. <laughs> Apostle Solomon did not, did not end it there. No, no, no. He went for that. Watch. God will only be angry with me if I take offering and tithe to buy plane. But if I have avenues of God blessing me and I do anything, what's your business? Is your money missing? Yeah. Is your money missing? That's a good question. All of you complain about Apostle Suleiman. Is your money missing? You see the government that will build roads for you? Sh should we tell him? <laughs> should we tell him what is missing? As a result of his behavior. The great apostle, you know, you and your kind are bringing down the IQ of our people. Yeah, I said it. And, and that is what is painful. Why you school them and you fool them? We are the ones who they will come back home to. We are the ones who will have to deal with them later. Think about it. Just, just think about it, apostle. <laughs> they don't think. They are busy flying from one place to another, private jet. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> As predicted by Dr. Damages, the second sign that Apostle Suleiman is guilty of sleeping with his pastor's wife just happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Take a look. Good evening, fellow Nigerians and everyone around the world. Personally, I want to apologize to my father in the Lord, Apostle John C. Suleiman. I want to say I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is to wait for the third one and the fourth one. It's coming to a theater near you. 
or social media account. Once you have social media, it's going to happen. Watch out. The next thing you see, Apostle Suleiman will reunite with uh, Pastor Davis and his wife in church and they will live happily ever after. Next! Now, here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. As usual, headline news is brought to you by Help Me Waka, the people who run errands for you. In Ghana, in Nigeria, everywhere. Anything you want them to do, they do it for you. Go to their website and see varieties of services. Go! Help your people. Go to Help Me Waka and order items for them. They will be happy. Please, help them. Ah, good, good. Oh, the first story is about the Pope, of course. Pope on Iraq visit decries violence in the name of God as the greatest blasphemy. Look at the headline. <laughs> this Pope says, eh? What if your God is not strong enough to fight for himself? Do you leave your weak and poor God to be swept away by prayers from worshippers of a lesser God? Think about it. Do you? You have to fight for your God. I know if you fight for him in the morning, at night you go and pray for him to do wonders for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Pope. It's trouble. Next. <laughs> How I averted another civil war in Nigeria, says Yahaya Bello, the governor of um, Kogi State. <laughs> Don't laugh now. The man is like a butterfly that thinks himself as um, an ego. Yes. Let us humor him. You know what I mean? He convinced some northern food producing uh, marketers to stop their blockade of food going to the, to the south. Yeah. Shipment of food to the south. He used all his negotiating skills. Considering that <laughs> these marketers were losing <laughs> maybe 10 billion naira a day, Yahaya Bello, another president in waiting, <laughs> offered them 4.5 billion as compensation for their loss at the market, born down market in Ibadan. That was, that was how the man averted another civil war in Nigeria. Amazing. That was it. I mean, that, it, it, what else? I think the Nobel Prize is too small for, for Yaya, Yaya, Yaya Bello. Too small. Let's give him something and a bigger prize. Nonsense. Next. Oh, oh, this is, this is, I don't believe, I couldn't believe this. ECOWAS court orders Nigeria to pay German 63.6 million, that is $10,000, over illegal detention. Look at it. I, I, I didn't know that ECOWAS court has this kind of uh, power. You know, I would suggest that those who were arrested at uh, Obiwo market and kept in prison in Port Harcourt and those in the military base in Abuja should also sue Nigeria at ECOWAS court for illegal detention. Even those Boko Haram members detained in Lagos for years should also sue. What am I saying? Our Vice President of Shibajo, should Kukuma sue the federal government for illegal detention? <laughs> Maybe that will bring uh, such um, despicable actions to an end. What do you think? Let me know. Write on the comment section what you think. I, I think it's a good idea. Next. Oh, this is from a Nobel laureate, the one that has won it, not uh, Bello. Aha, Shuinka, it is madness sign to think Nigeria will work without restructuring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This professor said, eh, sometimes they confuse me. Instead of explaining things where well, they confuse me, which one is madness sign? I thought Stevie Wonder saw the sign in Nigeria. As far back as 1977, during Festac, that there is madness. <laughs> oh, and, and, and why are people talking about upcoming restructuring when the bandits have already started their own restructuring right there in the forest? Why are people still talking about upcoming? Next. Oh, Kayamata. Cause of alarming rate of divorce in Abuja and other states. Kayamata. You, you, yeah, this is the headline. Kayamata. Now, if you, if you are like me, you don't know what the hell Kayamata is. Take a look. 
Kayamata is just a house word meaning um, a bride's load in Yoruba they call it Eruya would you just take it along with the bride when she, the bride takes along with her when she's going to her husband's house <laughs> Kayamata is a woman's load well the original Kayamata came out swinging in defense of Kayamata watch her have you ever heard me say we are taking your husbands away from you have you ever heard me say we are coming to take your husbands away original Kayamata house up from the north we are homemakers we are not homebreakers <laughs> yeah 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 this this these are the reasons why I am not joining um, this woman to sing songs of thanks and praises I am not I'm tired <laughs> Can you see how the country is? I want to give you hope, but I can't find any hope anywhere. I can't. Anyway, that's all the time we have for the show today. Please keep following us on Twitter at Dr. Damages and on Instagram at Dr. Damages and on Facebook at Dr. Damages. You can come to Patreon and support us. We are, we are struggling. Support us, okay? At Patreon slash Dr. Damages. And here's my concern for today. It's taken from 419 seconds of the last interview of Bonnie Weller, who passed away last week. Let's bring uh, Bonnie Weller to, to say the way he said it. What? With Robert and myself sharing the same sister, it makes Ziggy calling me uncle. Steve, all of Robert's children will I'll be their uncle. And Peter Andrew calls Robert's children cousin, and they the same in aunts and nieces and nephews. That's what the Whalers family have become. The Whalers have become that kind of a family. Yes. May his soul rest in peace. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't know we could do it this week, but we did it. Thank you. SendWave is breaking the market with its new and enhanced system of sending money to Nigeria in line with the Central Bank of Nigeria's directive. Oh yeah, stop the press! Yes, your safe and reliable money transfer service, SendWave, is breaking the market by making it almost free to send money to your family and friends in Nigeria. Wait a minute, wait a minute! You can send money from the US, Canada, UK, Spain, Italy and Ireland to Nigeria for just 1% transaction fee. You will save money by using SendWave than any other remittance company in the market. For example, if you send $100 to your sister, she gets $100 in Nigeria and, and you pay just $1. That is crazy. You will also be saving almost $4 from what the other remittance companies charge. And, and, and no matter how much you send, SendWave will not charge you more than $9. Isn't that great? Add to that. <laughs> when you use my promo code DOCTOR, you will get $5 bonus for your first transfer. Now, your loved ones can pick up the money in dollars from any access bank or Zenith bank anywhere near them. Oh yeah, pick up is during bank hours. Uh, banks will not uh, give out money, your dollars, when they are closed. <laughs> you know, go, show more. And, and, and there is no cost to your loved ones to pick up the dollars. So hurry and download the new send wave. Now, to send money, you need to add the recipient. As a new recipient, you also have to select cash pickup and enter their name and phone number. Once you send the amount you want, SendWave will text a code to your phone number. They will also send the same code to your recipient. That's it. That code is what your family member or friend will take to the bank to claim their dollars. SendWave, your best way to send money to Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, and Liberia. Oh, they're in Liberia, Ivory Coast, and Cameroon. Why didn't I know that? <laughs>